Hey guys, welcome to vdchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss an example on periods of trigonometric function. So here the given example is find the periods of the functions say cos 3x plus 5 plus 7 and the other function is tan 5x. And now let us consider the first function that is cos 3x plus 5 plus 7. So now in order to find the period of this function, let us write f of x is equal to cos 3x plus 5 plus 7. And now let us compare this equation with cos ax plus b. So here by comparing we get a equal to 3. And the formula to find the period of cos ax plus b is equal to is 2 pi by a. So now in order to find the period of the given function that is cos 3x plus 5 plus 7. Let us substitute the value of a here so we get 2 pi by a which is mod 3. So we get 2 pi by 3 as the period of the given function. And now let us consider another function which is tan 5x. And now let us equate this to f of x. And now let us compare tan 5x with tan ax. So by comparing we get a equal to 5 and we already know the period of tan ax is equal to pi by mod a. So in order to find the period of tan 5x we get here pi by mod 5. So that implies pi by 5 is the period of tan 5x. So hence 2 pi by 3 is the period of cos 3x plus 5 plus 7 whereas period of tan 5x is pi by 5. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example. So here the given example is find the periods of mod sin x and also a function called tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus so on n square into x. So first let us find the period of mod sin x and here let us Remember the basic property that is f of x plus t should be equal to f of x. And now let us name the given function as f of x. So here we get let f of x is equal to mod sin x. And now name this equation as equation 1. And now let us try to find the value of f of x plus p. So let us consider p is equal to pi by 2. And so that implies we get f of x plus p which is x plus pi by 2. And now let us write the function for x plus pi by 2. So in order to write we have to replace x with x plus pi by 2 in equation 1. So here by replacing we get mod sin x plus pi by 2 which can be written as mod sin pi by 2 plus x. So here it is in the form of so sin 90 degrees plus theta is equal to cos theta. So using this trigonometric function, we get here the result as mod cos x. So here the result for f of x plus pi by 2 is cos x, whereas the result for f of x is sin x. So hence you can say that f of x plus pi by 2 is not equal to f of x, as the value of f of x plus pi by 2 is cos x, whereas the value of f of x is sin x. And now let us consider the value of p as pi. And now let us find the function f of x plus pi. So in order to write a function we have to replace x with x plus pi in equation 1. So here by replacing we can write mod sin x plus pi. So that implies we can write this as sin x plus pi. So here it is in the form of sin 180 degrees plus theta. And hence the value of sine 180 degrees plus theta is, is minus sine theta. So here by using this trigonometric function we get the value here as mod minus sine x which is nothing but mod sine x. So therefore we can say that f of x plus pi is equal to f of x. So therefore we can say that f of x plus pi which is equal to sine x is equal to f of x as its value is also f of x. 
So therefore, we can say that period of mod sin x is equal to pi. And now, let us consider one more function, that is tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus so on and square x. So in order to find the period of that function, let us name this function as f of x. So here we can say let f of x is equal to tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus so on n square x. And here we can write this in the form of tan 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus so on n square into x. So here we are writing x as a common factor. And then we can write this in the form of tan 1 square plus 2 square. Then 9 can be written as 3 square plus so on n square into x. So here we already know that sum of squares of numbers is equal to that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus so on n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. So writing this in the place of 1 square plus 2 square so on plus n square we get here tan n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 into x. So here it is in the form of tan x. So by comparing this function to tan ax, we get a equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. So here we already know that period of tan ax is equal to pi by mod a. So here this is a and now period of tan x plus 4x plus 9x so on n square x will be equal to pi by mod a which is pi by n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. So by transferring 6 to the numerator, we get 6 pi by n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1. So here this is the period of the function tan x plus 4x plus 9x plus so on n square x. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.